Welcome to part number 16 of Gran Turismo 1. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're going to be doing the International A License. Now I know on the end of the A License segment I said, I don't want to do another license test, but Sky Hurricane informed me that IA is actually pretty easy in this game. So let's just go ahead and do it. In case you don't know, IA License is basically GT1's version of the Super License before the Super License was a thing. And let's begin with the high speed ring. Running at 10 or 5. That is true. I mean, look, with GT6, they did refine the physics, you know, quite a bit. I just felt like 5 was just a mess, dude. Like, 5 was the best for online in terms of the PS3 era, for sure. But GT5 was just such a mess. Like, like the presentation was just sloppy and. You know, like, the whole standard car thing. I, I can look past the standard cars. Like, I don't really care about interiors, but it's just like, you know, can you guys just make a bit of an effort to clean up, like, the jagged edges and stuff? Like, some cars look pretty good. Like, the, um, Bugatti wasn't that bad looking. The R8 LMS was arguably the nicest looking standard car. But then some standard cars, like the, um, Alta Works was just horrible. And then, arguing about GT Sport, you know, not being new to be existed because uh, GT6 can be ported. Well, with that, I mean, they wanted to make a standalone game for the FIA, and we finally get the gold. <laughs> no one got time to, to gold or 100% GT5. <laughs> I don't mind the beast pick to be honest. No, there's nothing wrong with beast pick helping you on the enduros, but I just want to, you know, I just want to do the whole entire thing without using beast pick once. Like, dude, I'm crazy enough to actually use, like, a 100-horsepower car during the 1,000 miles. That's how insane I am with GC4, dude. Like, I'm willing to try it out. Use, like, a midget or a Isuzu or something, you know? Because I've seen people do the 1,000 miles with, like, souped-up Corvettes or Mercury, Coup Mercury Cougars and stuff. And I'm just like, eh, I'd rather use, like, a really slow classic car for that event. Nearly lost the car with the hairpin. A slight wall tap could cost us. Oh no no, I'll I'll completely change it over and over again till I make sure I don't get the AC for twenty seven. I'm not gonna race with that car with an Isuzu. Or whatever I use. I don't know. Doesn't even get 25. Yep. Got it. Alright, cool. Next up, number three. Here we go. Third attempt at this test. Thanks, guy. I appreciate it. It's just making sure I, I nail the exits of some of the corners and just being a lot cleaner. Really, that's what's costing me that extra second to get the gold. Oh, and the fact that I almost lost the car at the chicane, so look at it that way. Tunnel. 
Ooh, letting the car roll into the right-hander here is definitely helping. Let's use all the run effort that we can. This feels like a really good run. This feels like a really good run so far. I agree, Sky. See what I get. And nice. Okay. There we go. On to number four. Here we go. Slow into one, up the hill, into two. Looking good so far. There we go. Nice and wide through this section onto the back stretch. Using all of the track limits that we can. Ah, oh, it's just not a good exit. It's just way too wide. Scrub off too much speed, but let's see what let's see if we can salvage this lap. Okay, still a gold. I won't complain, I'll take it. Let me save this replay real quick. And time for session five. What's really costing me here is being careless. I think that's the fastest we've been through sector one. Out of these all all these attempts. There we go. Now we're going somewhere. Oh, get out of the curves, please. There we go. Nice! Okay, six attempts, not bad. And speaking about number six, it's time for session six. Well, half of a tenth off. That's at number three. Here we go.
in the grass. Come on. Ah, uh, if we didn't clip the grass, that would have been an amazing entry and exit. Okay, we got the gold this time by taking taking some air. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to save that replay. And time for number seven. Now, we're running attempt number five. We're doing really well. We just got to put together one clean lap and just make sure we don't tap any of these walls. Now, this is my time to make excuses here. I'm not playing with the DualShock 3. I'm playing with the DualShock 4 that's connected to my PS3, therefore I can't use my my analog sticks, I'm using a D-pad, and I'm not quite used, I'm not used to using a D-pad, by the way, for this. close to the wall. Flat out with the chicane as well. We are on a flyer here. We're just hustling around the track. Okay, no wall tap this time. I think our chicane entry speed should be a little bit higher this time around. That's gotta be it. And the final corner onto the front straightaway. Oh, this has to be it. No doubt in my mind that this is gonna be the gold run. Yep, there we go. Boom. Cool. So now it's time for the grand finale. I8 number 8. Grand Valley Speedway Reverse. Cool, alright. So here we go. So just an FYI to people who are new to the channel and who are watching me play this and wondering, do you speak Japanese or do you read Japanese? The answer is no. I'm just looking at the track itself and I'm just guessing from there. Okay, we slowed down a lot. So that's good. I thought we were going to lose the car in the chicane, but glad we didn't. I stayed in second gear so that way we didn't lose the car due to wheel spin. So 
onto the front stretch. I think this is a gold run. Let's find out in three, two, one. Yup! Voila! All golds, Gran Turismo 1 license test, Japanese version, every single gold. Actually, there's no difference between the Japanese and US versions and PAL versions for GT1. GT2, 3, 4, 5 onwards. However, different story. Well, I don't know about 5. I think 5 is the same, but 2, 3, and 4 for sure. The Japanese version, different license test. But anyways, there we are. International A license. And a brand new machine. So what do we win? I'm actually pretty excited because I've never gotten the license. You know, I've actually never gotten gold on every single license in this game. So what do we win? Nisma 400R. Yes, it is. Awesome. But if I have to nitpick, I don't like it in red. I like the yellow Nisma 400R. Whatever. It's a Nisma 400R. It's free. Can't complain. All right. We're completely done with the license test, so next time, we're going to be racing, finally. After doing what? Almost three straight hours of license tests, unedited?